Hi, it's XJ. Continue with the transition series and especially kind of the weird ones, right? Um, so the category here would be like, in other words, in other words, or you want to be a little bit flexible when you think about these transitions. College Board or Khan Academy literally has that tip for you. They say, oh, be flexible when you do the transitions. It's on the advanced transitions page, which just means honestly, like they're giving themselves an excuse to like make questions that are a little bit iffy. There's even one in which like people were very mad about. I'll get to that one next time. So in other words, or you could even think about it as like specifically, either of those would be fine. Okay. So there are certain times when we read the sentences and they're like, oh yeah, that's definitely a contrast. Oh, that's a cause and an effect. But there are also other times where like, I'm not even sure what the relationship here is. Okay. So let's look here. In a heated debate in biogeography, the field is divided between dispersalists and vicarianists. I have no idea what that means. There are those who argue that dispersal is the most crucial determining factor. Okay. So I don't know who these people are. Like, I have no idea. I'm not a biogeographer. Okay. So this thing right here is actually providing the definitions. Is that uh, providing us the terms? It's like explaining. So what I want to do is I do not want to, oh, this is the one thing I should have told you guys many videos ago, but okay, I'm doing it now, better late than never, right? Do not, and I repeat, do not just plug in these words into the blank and go with the one that sounds best. That'll get you like 60% accuracy at best, okay? That is like the main flaw that people have. And take what I just said, right? F same thing for the vocab, don't just plug them in, okay? There has to be a bigger strategy than that. What is the bigger strategy? It's always paraphrase. So I read this sentence. I'm not even sure what dispersal is vicariousness are because that's kind of the whole point of the sentence. They're telling you what those things are. So this sentence here, what does it do? It's telling us the definition of a dispersalist. Okay. It's telling us that, uh, what is a vicarianist? So it's telling us those definitions, those terms, it's explaining, it's giving us information. So it's not just in other words, it's like, um, simply put, okay. So the idea here is I know I just said a thing that a lot of people don't know. So I'm going to clarify. Okay. So when you do the actual test, you don't have to write all of this stuff, right? This is just for my uh, purposes of demonstration for you guys. But then you would think in your head, okay, so this one was like um, explaining things to me. It was simplifying things to me. It was telling me the definitions. I was able to learn stuff from there. Okay. So with that said, then I know it is going to be, it's not going to be furthermore because, so you do it by elimination. So I'm like, okay, it's telling me things in an easier way. Furthermore is not one of those. Furthermore is just a new piece of information. Okay. And by contrast, definitely not a contrast here. Okay. And similarly, and furthermore, this is the other thing too. Similarly, and furthermore, they're not entirely the same thing, but when you have transitions that are kind of close to each other, you could argue, especially when the SAT goes like be flexible, really unlikely for it to be the answer when furthermore exists. So the answer here is that is, which a lot of students go like, what does that even mean? That is, is pretty much in other words. Okay. So SAT, digital SAT, especially on the transition questions have gotten into a habit of using these kind of like weird or like odd transitions that people don't use too commonly in real life anymore. Um, and the reason for that is there aren't actually that many transitions in the English language. However, for whatever reason, SAT has decided to dedicate a good portion of each module, right? Like three, four, five questions on transitions. That means in order for them to make it not so repetitive, they have to drag out these like kind of unusual transitions, which, you know, as the word that is. Okay. So, um, to summarize the, uh, lesson from today, guys, I want to make sure I am paraphrasing what my sentence is doing before I look at the answer choices. And in this specific instance, it was, this is telling us stuff in an easier way, in a simpler way, a regular transition that does that in my head is in, in other words. Okay. I decide that first. I like, okay. It's something like, in other words, once I have that, I go through and I go, which one matches the, in other words, best. So ABC, those are not matching with in other words. So we go with that is. And if that's your first time seeing that, that's okay. It's pretty normal. That is, is a weird way of doing, you know, in other words, or not weird, just not as commonly used. Okay. So that's it for this transition video. So I'm going to be trying to find the, uh, I'm going to try to find the unusual transitions that College Board has used. I'm just going to comb through. But if there are any particular transitions that you found, 
that were kind of weird, like, Jay, I've never heard this in real life, then I'll be very happy to make a video for you guys. So let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Study every day with who? Sexy Jay. Y'all already know. Bye-bye.